Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Ms. Murray, and welcome back. Today, we are at our community conversation forum, and we have a special guest for you. Our guest today is Colleen Clark. Hi, Colleen, and welcome. Hey, Ms. Murray. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Thanks for coming in. And she is the Prevention Program Coordinator at the East Cleveland Neighborhood Center. And we're going to learn a little bit about what you what your organization organization does. How long has the organization been in existence? The East Clinton Neighborhood Center has been around since 1986, so we're coming up on 40 years pretty soon. Oh, wow. What a great asset to the community. What services, what type of services do you offer children, youth, and families? Well, we have a, a bunch of different things we do. Right now, we are a social-emotional learning agency that also does educational enrichment for youth. We work in all the East Cleveland schools and we do social emotional curricula and activities, doing fun stuff with youth that helps them learn how to express themselves more positively or uh, in a positive way and learn about identifying their feelings. Um, and we always try to do everything in the most fun way possible. Interactive learning. Interactive learning. Yeah. So we're in the schools. We're doing um, after-school programs, and of course right now everything's virtual, which yes. is, makes it a little bit extra interesting. Um, finding ways, fun games and things that uh, youth can do on Zoom, which, is, which has been great. We just finished up with a summer program where we had scholars in our Zoom rooms from 8.30 in the morning till 3.15 in the afternoon. A full school day. A full school day. <laughs> Great. And they had fun, and the, the parents really appreciated it. Um, and the, the youth just had a, a great time, and they all improved on their literacy skills at the same time. They were doing a lot of fun activities. I taught yoga. In the afternoons, we had uh, afternoon activities that were more enrichment activities. Um, uh, physical activities, I did yoga, we did a social emotional curriculum, um, they, they did art, a STEM program, we took them on virtual field trips. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> yeah. that sounds like fun. fun. Can I sign, when can yeah. I sign up? <laughs> you can. <laughs> what criteria is needed for families or youth to participate in your programs and your services? The, all our programs are pretty much just open to the public. You just call us and we'll, we'll get you signed up. We don't have, some programs have guidelines as far as income level, like our Shoes and Clothes for Kids program, which is actually going on right now. Oh, great. If I, um, I don't have a flyer, but I'll bring you one. We can post it. The um, they, Parents can call us, call us up. And um, if they are 200% of poverty level, which is like just about everybody I know, but <laughs> so you don't have to be like super poor. You are you qualify if you get food stamps or any other kind of assistance. You qualify, and they're giving out a, a uniform, a school uniform, in the hopes that there will be school again someday. Oh, great! And a casual outfit and $15 shoe card towards a pair of shoes, a whole book bag full of school supplies. So it's a really fun and great giveaway. The the community appreciates it a lot. Great, great. So now you didn't say that big word free. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, <yes. laughs> it's the big word. Of everything's free that we do. We have an, I have another program happening actually tonight, um, and then it'll be on Thursday nights, like every every month, three Thursday nights out of every month from now till next June. I'll be doing a program with me and my uh, coworker Jake Streeter. We'll be doing a program called Parent Cafe where parents get together and they get to support each other and network and talk about parenting. Well, what do you do when your child does this? Or how do you handle this situation? And different issues and, thing, and sharing the things that are really fun about parenting, giving each other good ideas. So it's different, it's not a parenting class, it's just a support group and a chance on, and right now they're of course on Zoom. Um, in the past, and when they happen again live, we'd have a meal, we'd have some teenagers from my groups that would uh, do child care and babysit yeah. while the parents were in having their discussions. Um, and now we don't really have the food or the child care, but we still have 
great discussion some parents have said that they really enjoy these discussions it just feels good to like have someone listen to them and to share their thoughts and feelings about being a parent which to me is the hardest job I ever did yeah I'm so glad my this my kids are grown now yeah however so it may be hard and challenging but very rewarding and I like the fact that you use the creativity the parent cafe very clever yeah actually not our big not our title but a good title for the program great great now where are you located at this time we just moved and we're over at old prospect elementary school which is right next to the Board of Ed which is right across from Shaw High School if you go to the Shaw High School parking lot park in there you go through the Board of Ed because they check everyone in and take their temperature and everything and then we can come and get you to find our offices we have a lot of space now so we're looking forward to having more youth come back to our after-school programs and you know we were here at the library for the last four years we had a beautiful little space down here in the basement at the East Cleveland Public Library and we kind of outgrew it and got this opportunity to be over in an old elementary school building we have four classrooms oh wonderful one of them's for our offices and then we have three other classrooms where we can do programming with youth so expansion is always yeah expansion is always good what are your hours we're basically there from 9 to 4 30 or 5 right now once we do have out of school time programs started back up that are live we'll be there later because our youth will be in there after school generally our after school programs are from 4 to 6 um, but right now they've been closing up the building a little bit on the earlier side because there's not kids around. Correct. So, yeah, but right. generally and 9 to 5. Oh, 9 to 5, <laughs> good. So we've already answered the question about you all being remote and everything being done with virtual presentations and things mm-hmm. of that nature. You answered that. So what is the telephone number that the parents need to call <laughs> to get involved? So it's a, a 216 area code, 932-3626. I gotta double check that and say it again. <laughs> 932-3626, that was correct. Okay. Well, thank you, Ms. Colleen You're Clark um, from the East Cleveland Neighborhood Center. It's a pleasure to have you at our library and in our community serving our youth and families. And be safe. You and too. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Bye.